243. The Grand Opera Life. Calcedon Reports number 338, September 1993. Philippians chapter 4 verse 5 tells us, Let your moderation be known unto all men. The Lord is at hand. Moderation in the Greek is a word meaning reasonableness. The Lord is at hand means the Lord is near, engus, meaning that he is near either in time or place. This is usually taken to mean the second coming, but there is no reason to deny that it means other than what we are under God's very present and watchful eyes. Read in this way, it means that we must live always before God, governed by His law word, and manifesting a reasonable, conscientious, and God-governed life. Why is this important? The Puritans changed conduct wherever their influence went from a flamboyant and hyper-emotional lifestyle to a reasonable and restrained one. The modern era, like the Renaissance, sees life as theatre. More than one scholar has shown that the shift to this view from life lived before God's eye meant that acting before men became a way of life. Castiglione's courtier counselled putting on a performance for the benefit of important people. Not sincerity, but performance became paramount. This new lifestyle became embodied in an opera, quote, heroic end quote plays, theatre and court life. Important people dressed and lived theatrically, and their reality was not God's truth, but a world of appearances. The results are history. All the arts were used to further the theatrical, and a sharp line separated the middle class with its sobriety from the aristocracy with their contempt for middle class restraints. With the development of the cinema, the overblown dramatic life was popularised for all. The limitation of silent films meant that overdramatization was used to convey the message. This overdramatization did not disappear with sound films. In fact, whether in films or in television, this hyper emotionalism and supercharged activity has become more commonplace. The results for everyday life have been devastating. I'm old enough to recall the pre film era in rural America the wild emotionalism and outbursts common to television and film plays were unknown in everyday life. Now, however, young children mimic the tantrums of film life and youth and adults act in a way which once would have been regarded as crazy and intolerable. All too many now display emotional outbursts that are really pathological and reflect the craziness of film life. Normal living has been deluged with supercharged emotionalism in too many families. The grand opera life is hell for families. It means tantrums and outbursts have replaced reasonableness, and young and old storm their rational ways through life. The grand opera life had a deep influence on royal court architecture, and it can still be seen in statist architecture. Life was turned into melodrama, and in the 19th century, men raged and ranted sometimes, as witness Shelley and woman fainted to make a point. In differing forms, 20th century peoples are also given to melodrama. Present-day black and white youth act in ways their great-grandparents would find incomprehensible. We must stress to this generation that we are God's creatures, and we live, move, and have our being in His presence, before His eyes. We can put on an act that will fool men, but never God. We must live with reasonableness in his presence and in terms of his law word. This is what Philippians chapter 4 verse 5 is all about. It is time we paid attention 